at this point, they're just so grateful for the community's support through all of this. They say there's really no words to capture what they're feeling, but they do want to use his legacy and his honor to make a difference. Now, just behind me, that memorial continues to grow. Earlier, we saw about 20 friends and loved ones of his here gathering, adding flowers, writing notes. Earlier today, I was able to go to Karim's family's home to speak with his father. The day he left us, he won one of the UC Davis awards and he was on his way back home. He was literally five minutes away. At Sycamore Park, just feet from their family home, Davis police say 20 year old Karim Abu Najam was stabbed and killed on Saturday night. His father says his son was about to graduate. Six weeks, six weeks. The computer science major was proud of his roots. We're originally from Lebanon, from a very small town, probably even less than one-tenth the size of Davis. His father says they left the country in 2018 to escape war and violence. For this to happen to their son here, there are no words to capture that pain. He uh, had many friends and we can tell how much they, they love each other from what we saw yesterday. And uh, we're, we're still in contact with them. Uh, we told them that this is their home. If they want to come for support, for even, even a hug, they're more than welcome to come here. Karim's family is thinking of others in their time of grief. He even far exceeded us. We're so proud of him, and we will miss him. We will miss him. And back out here live, you can see that candles are now lit and flowers are here. We do want to thank Karim's family so much for spending some time with us today and telling us a little bit more about their son through this tragedy. At this point, they say they're trying to plan funeral services or a memorial that should happen sometime this week. And they say that the community is welcome to come for that. As for their son's legacy, they're already thinking about that too. It's pretty incredible. They want to create a scholarship in his name and they said that they wanted do that with UC Davis, but more details on that will come within the coming weeks and months. For now, we're live here in Sycamore Park in Davis. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Andrea.